Welcome back. Today I'd like to answer a question I was actually just asked a few minutes ago. And that is, what is Google Checkout? And do I need a Google Checkout account attached to my website? Well, those are great questions, so let's answer them. Google Checkout is essentially their version of a PayPal account. So it's advertised as an easy way for merchants to integrate credit card payment capabilities into their website with no contract and no setup fees or uh, cancellation fees. So the application process is actually remarkably similar to that of a traditional merchant service account in that you will have to provide them some information about your business, what you're selling, how much you expect to sell, and of course some personal credit information to support the account. Now once your account's set up, Google charges you on a per transaction basis, very much like PayPal, and they actually took PayPal's rate structure and copied it. So for the marketplace that they're going after, their rate structure is relatively competitive. However, if you were to compare it to a traditional merchant service account, it's actually relatively expensive. So before you can make a decision as to whether or not a Google checkout account is something that you would like to integrate with your current website services, let's take a look at a few other items. So before you can decide whether or not Google checkout is an option that you would like to install on your website, there's some things to consider, of course. Now, Google is the largest, most recognizable entity on the web, and most of its consumers are very, very comfortable with all of its products. But that being said, there are some areas of concern that you should consider before installing Google Checkout as your sole source of payment processing on your website. So the first one is credit debit. What that refers to is that Google Checkout is only set up to accept credit and debit pay, uh, payments sponsored by one of the major card brands. So if you do want to take check payments or ACH or anything of this nature, then you will not be able to do that with your Google Checkout account. Now, number two, services refers to the fact that merchant service providers are going to have a much more extensive list of services and support that are going to be there for you and your account in the future that Google Checkout cannot provide. Number three, PayPal. Now, PayPal is still more widely recognized in this uh, realm, so you might end up having to have a PayPal account right next to your Google Checkout account. Now, number four, consumer concern. Consumers are increasingly concerned about their safety on the web, and rightfully so. And a lot of them are very, very concerned with payment methods such as PayPal and Google Checkout. And they would much prefer to use a traditional merchant service account with the various layers of security that they provide consumers. Number five, account. A lot of consumers have voiced frustration that if they want to buy something from a merchant, they don't necessarily want to have to sign up for a Google Checkout account, but they do. If they want to buy something from you and they're using Google Checkout, they will have to sign up for a Google Checkout account first. Uh, number six, design flexibility. When you use Google Checkout, you will be somewhat limited in your design flexibility when it comes to your website. Number seven, if you'd like to sell your goods on eBay, you won't be able to do that with your Google Checkout account, so you'll have to have either a merchant service account or a PayPal account to do that. Uh, marketing, you're not provided with all of your consumer's contact information, which means that in the future when you want to market back to those same consumers, you won't be able to do that with a Google Checkout account. Now, a shopping cart, you will be limited to the Google Checkout shopping cart. Um, so once again, I guess that comes back to design flexibility a little bit. Now, these are some areas of concern that you should consider before you decide whether or not a Google Checkout account is right for your business. But ultimately, you're the one that needs to decide. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I'd be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. This has been Rep Bayless with The Processing Point. Remember to jump on over to Facebook and hit the like button so you can be a part of the Merchant Doctor Information Revolution.